I just got back in town and while I was away, I did a little makeup shopping in store. I placed an online order, but right before I left, I received two products in the mail from Red Apple Lipstick, which is a brand that some of you have recommended to me. Some of the YouTubers I'm subscribed to have done review videos. Red Apple Lipstick is a gluten-free makeup line and they are most known for their lipsticks, but they have lip glosses, eyeshadows, and most recently a mascara. And they actually have a blogger program where you can submit your information and if you qualify, they will send you two products in exchange for a review. So I thought that seemed like a good idea. And so the two products I chose were their lipstick in the shade Audrey and their matte shadow in the shade Sugar and Spice. And Audrey is what I have on right now. And this is a very popular, I think it's one of their most popular lipstick shades. It is a beautiful neutral pink and it's most similar in my collection to Bite Beauty's Fig. Fig is a little bit lighter and I actually find Audrey to be easier to wear. And on myself, it's a little bit more flattering. The formula is really nice. It's very pigmented and creamy, but it feels lightweight on the lips and it is very conditioning. So if my lips are feeling tight and dry, I can put this on and they immediately feel and look better. And then the packaging of uh, Red Apple Lipstick, I think it seems really nice, very black and matte, but just very sleek looking. So that is the lipstick and then the eyeshadow is Sugar and Spice and I thought this would be a perfect fall crease color. It is a warm rusty brown. I have a little bit in my crease right now. It's very pigmented and easy to blend but my favorite thing is that it's pressed in the pan. A lot of natural shadows I've looked at are loose which is fine but it's just not as convenient and for myself I much prefer a pressed pan formula. So I've been loving both products and the prices, the lipstick is $23.50 and I would most, I would compare it to Bite Beauty lipsticks as well as Too Faced Le Creme lipsticks. So Bite Beauty are 24, I think in Too Faced or 22. So I think at $23.50, it's very comparable and I think it's worth the $23.50, very high quality lipstick. The eyeshadow, I was a little bit surprised by the price. The single pan is $18.75. That seemed like a lot of money to me, but I wanted to compare it to some other natural brands that have pressed eyeshadow. So Sappho Organics are $20, Nuvo Organica are $9.99, and then the Cure Weiss, if you get them without the fancy compact, are $25. So I guess in comparison, it is that $18.75 fits in there okay, but it's just a lot for me for a single eyeshadow. So I wouldn't, I do really like it, but I probably wouldn't go and buy a full palette at one time. That would get kind of pricey, but I liked it enough that I got another eyeshadow. So I'm gonna show you that in a second. But when I was researching Red Apple, I put my personal email address into their VIP program, which gets you their newsletter and any coupons. And while I was on vacation, they sent me a buy one, get one free lipstick code. So I thought that seemed pretty awesome. So I ended up placing an order. So hold on one second, I will get the products out and show you what I got. The first lipstick I chose is Vogue, and this is a deep berry neutral, perfect for fall, very creamy. So I'm, this is just beautiful on the lips. So I'm really happy with that choice. And then the one I got for free is Berry Blast. And this one looks very dark and intense in the bullet, but it goes on quite sheer and you can easily build this one up. So just one swipe will give you a little bit of a berry stain, but you can really layer it up to be much deeper. This one does have a little bit of almost copper shimmer running through it. And I'm not 100% on board with the shimmer. And when I build it up, the shimmer becomes quite noticeable. So I'm not sure how I feel about that one, but the other two lipsticks I love, and I think out of the three, Audrey is my favorite. And I do think that Audrey is the most moisturizing out of the three. So those were buy one, get one free. And then when I checked out for 15 extra dollars, you could add on their Rally Balm and their exfoliating stick. And the Rally Balm is $15 on its own. So you basically got the $17 exfoliating stick for free. So the Rally Balm is gluten-free, vitamin E and castor seed oil. And this is supposed to be a really good balm to layer underneath lipsticks. So I thought that seemed fun to try. And then the exfoliating stick is kind of cool. I think Elf and Ilia have a product like this where it's a lip exfoliator in the shape of a lipstick tube. So you just put this on, exfoliate your lips, and then take a damp washcloth and gently wipe it away. So those two things I added on for an extra $15. 
The last thing I got in that order is another eyeshadow. This is in the shade Twinkle Taupe, and this is a satin shadow. It contains no shimmer, but it does have a really pretty sheen and catches the light. I was originally thinking this was gonna be an all over lid color, but since I've gotten it and played with it a little bit, I actually prefer it in my crease. So today I have it a little bit in my outside corner and then blend it up right underneath that sugar and spice color. So I do really like the eyeshadows, even though they're a little bit pricey, but if I ever get another really good discount code or buy one, get one free for eyeshadows, I would definitely purchase another. That's it for my red apple lipstick purchases, but while I was away, I ran into Sephora for three things. The first was a sample of the Hourglass Illusion Tinted Moisturizer, and I got it in shade Vanilla, which is the same shade I'm in in their liquid to powder foundation, and the shade match is perfect. I need to play with it a little bit more before I can decide, but that is what I have on today. And then what I was most excited about were two more shades of the Bite Beauty Matte Lip Crayons. And I've already talked about Glacé in a previous video, and the two others I was interested in are Cognac and Brandy. And when I swatched Brandy in store, I immediately thought of that little emoji with the heart eyes. This is my perfect fall shade, and I've worn it two days, and both times that I've worn it, people have asked me what I have on my lips. It is a perfect fall raspberry color, and this is absolutely beautiful and definitely one of my favorites from the range. The other one I bought is Cognac, and this is a deep brown. The caps are a little bit tight, but I will be the first to admit, if I try to apply this brown fully like I apply the brandy shade, it is not that attractive on me, but I really like to dot it in and then blend it in with my finger. That looks really natural and pretty. And then my favorite way to wear it is actually mixed in with glacé. So I will apply glacé first and then put a little bit of cognac on top and then work my lips together and maybe even blend it in a little bit with my finger. So these are just beautiful, beautiful products. And I think they're one of my favorite things that Bite Beauty has done other than their just traditional lipstick formula. So if you haven't tried these yet, I think they're worth the trip to Sephora. I mentioned that I went into Sephora for three things, but I came out with a little bit more than that. As I was browsing, I walked by their nail bar and I noticed a few new things. One I thought was a little bit cheesy and kind of eye roll worthy, and it is from Nails Inc. And it is a limited edition line called Nail Kale, as in the vegetable. And it had this little marketing talking about how it has was full of antioxidants and nutrients for your nails and would be really moisturizing. I thought that's so dumb. Then I was like, oh, the bottle is so pretty. And then I picked one up and I was like, wow, it feels so weighty in my hand. And then the colors just looked beautiful all in a row, very fall appropriate colors. The first one to really draw my eye was this nude shade called Montpelier Walk. And on my skin tone, at least, it's a bit of a deeper nude and it's absolutely beautiful. I've been wearing this one and I just, every time I look down at my hands, I just think it looks really pretty and classy. The other two I got were Westburn Park Road and this is described as a muted mink color and I love shades like this and then the deep color I got is Victoria and this is a very deep almost black cherry so I can't tell you if they're really you know that fortifying for my nails yet I can't even tell you how long they last but they apply beautifully it's a little bit of a wider brush than I'm used to but I had no trouble applying it it went on beautifully with two coats so everything I have on right now is two coats and then a top coat so I love the colors and as I wear it a little bit more maybe I'll update you in my monthly favorites that's everything for this haul, and I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the Red Apple lipstick products as well as some new things out at Sephora. And I have to check my planner, but I think next week is gonna be my fall lip product video, which I'm so excited about. I already have a few set aside that I know for sure I'm gonna talk about, but that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.